等一下，等一下，等一下，等一下，等一下，等一下。这到底在干嘛？Hi guys, I'm so excited to have this amazing episode with you. We are in a Maserati. That's right, it's Ellen's freaking Maserati. Okay, she is an amazing e-commerce millionaire. She can teach you how to、uh, create a store from Amazon, from eBay, basically from nothing. And if you do it right, you're gonna be maybe just maybe half as rich as you. you yeah, think it's I actually help some clients reach seven figure from Holy zero. Holy. Okay, it's your podcast, so I don't know if I can do profanity, but that's amazing, guys, right? So I've actually bought her course.、Um, I'm not nearly as successful as your best student, but、um, she, her her stuff is amazing.、I'm、really excited because she's the top person in terms of e-commerce that you can possibly ask for. So thank you so much for well, being. Thank you for、here. having me、uh, on your podcast show. Thank、so. you for having me in your car. <laughs> in your it's a Maserati, guys. Look at the logo. Look at the logo. If you've never seen one, it's freaking. Do you want to tell about why we're here? Cause we didn't plan to do this in the <laughs> car. Did we did not. So we were at a speaker event, and、uh, the speaker like didn't allow us to use the other room. Yeah, it didn't yeah. allow <laughs> us to use the private room, and it was so, so loud. So we have、yeah. to find some place that's quiet, which is in my car, in the parking garage, <laughs> in the parking lot. You know what's funny? Like my friend asked me, like ask Ellen about her Maserati. Oh, so、really? now we're in it. Now we're in it. So it's great, right? Yeah. So okay. So your name is Ellen Lin. My name is Lee Lin. So are we like long lost cousins? Maybe. Or related? Maybe. Yeah. But I know you're my client. Yeah. And we're probably、so, long lost cousins. Cousin, probably. Like, maybe a thousand years ago. Or so. A thousand years.、Yeah. I feel like we're probably related because Genghis Khan, like he did so much like pillaging and raping. Because. <laughs> No, seriously, five percent of all like Asian men、uh, trace his genes back to his Y chromosome. Oh really? Yeah. So one in two hundred men are actually、okay. related to him. So maybe we maybe, probably are. Yeah, we, we probably are. are. Yeah. Who knows? Okay. So,、um, what is life like now as a millionaire? Well,、uh, actually, it doesn't really feel that different. I'm just like、oh, the average person, but、okay. I know that I have the money I could spend on anything I want, but I choose、okay. not to spend it. Cause I'm not like、uh, after those flashy stuff. I like cars, so I only spend. Oh, I only spend money on the things I like or I truly enjoy. For those people, for those other things that I don't really care, I don't just just want to go with the value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. So,、um, what is Ty Lopez like in like real life? Uh, Ty Lopez. I actually only met her twice, but、okay. I didn't really, I didn't really speak to him in person because okay, he was、okay. busy doing his stuff.、Okay. And but yeah, he's really knowledgeable.、Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest with you,、mm -hmm. when I first started my、uh, e-commerce, no, sorry, not e-commerce, my coaching business,、mm -hmm. yeah. it was because I went through his sixty-seven steps program, and that really. Uh, got me to thinking. Okay, what should I what should I do next? That that's before I started my coaching business. So that I by attending that by taking that class, it inspired me to start coaching people.、Mm. Yeah, and you're really good at coaching people, guys. She's amazing. She's very on point. If you get her classes, like it's just like everything is very like. Tactical, you know, there's no like fluff in your course because I've taken a lot of courses. It's just like this is what you do, and I think because I start off in eBay as a power seller, but I was just everything like wigs, electronics, clothes. Like I had no direction. So the good thing about your course is like it really like helps you narrow down exactly what would be profitable. You have like steps that just basically it's like idiot proof. Like even if you're dumb, you can make it happen because you have a plan for it. So that's why I appreciate about your classes. Um, so yeah,、uh, I'm not a good interviewer, so I need to look down at my notes. So okay, so like, why e-commerce out of like you know all the other businesses I could start, like buying gas station, buying a laundromat. Why e why e-commerce? Why e-commerce?、Uh, the answer is pretty simple, because like back at that back at then when the economy crashed, yeah, I had some friends who were doing that already,、oh, so I got、okay. some people to ask. Yeah. So that's yeah. why we decided to do this.、Mm -hmm. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. So,、um, like, what do you think? What types of people are a good fit for e-commerce, and like, what types of people should not do e-commerce?、Like, uh, I、thing. would say 
it's like um, people who have the willpower really want to change his or her life.、Mm -hmm. But if he or she has that mindset, you'll be able to success anyway.、Mm -hmm. So,、uh, but most people are just they don't truly believe themselves. They don't have faith in themselves.、Mm -hmm. But that could be trend. Because、mm. we are, we were not trying to believe in ourselves, right, right, right? right? We're Asian women. <laughs> yeah. The fact that we are here is shocking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think anybody are a good fit as long as they fix their mindset first. Because、mm -hmm. anything is solvable.、Mm -hmm. People telling me, okay, my computer sucks. I'm, I'm not really good at computers、mm -hmm. and skills. That, that could be trend.、Mm -hmm. All the technology could be trend. We didn't. Uh, when we were born, we don't have cell phones and iPhones, right? But we know、right. how to do. We know how to use them like、mm -hmm. really easy. Right. So I think、right. mindset is the first thing to fix before you want to start any kind of business, not just e-commerce.、Mm -hmm. So do you feel like you were born with like the mindset, or like did other people help you? Like, what do you think you were thinking of before you fix a mindset, and what kind of things were you thinking of after you fix a mindset? Uh, what was I thinking? I just. Want to? I just have a huge burning desire. I want、mm. to become rich,、mm. and I have、okay. a certain amount of number.、Mm. And because of that,、mm -hmm. I will tell myself, no matter what,、mm. I will have to do this.、Mm -hmm. No matter what happened,、uh, I know there's like、uh, situations,、uh, things every day, different、mm -hmm. things, bad things, good thing. I know everything could be solved. Yeah, because、okay. I want to reach my goal. That's the the strongest willpower I have. Mm. And that's why it keeps me going and motivates me. I love that.、Yeah. So, what was like the toughest obstacle you've ever gone through, and like what was the breakthrough? Like during e-commerce or my coaching program? Just、uh, let's do both.、Yeah. Let's do both.、Yeah. For e-commerce program, it was yeah, because at the beginning I only generated about like, maybe like forty thousand dollars. That's per still year. really. I mean, in terms of just. Overall, right? That's still better than like, because people start and they they don't succeed at all. Maybe they go into the negatives because they don't know how to do things, you know? Right, right, right. Okay, but, but that's they, a disappointing number for you. Yeah, that was、okay. really disappointing because、okay. I was making about like fifty thousand、oh, from my previous job. job.、Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So that's why it got me think. But I think it was a good thing. So that got me thinking. Okay, how could I? How could I do better? How do I? How do I scale more?、Mm, right, so I start、yeah. um, testing different strategies, and that's why I have the. Breakthrough to be able to scale. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. And for my、uh, coaching business, I didn't tell anyone about this, but I made zero income in nineteen months, eighteen months. Okay. Most people would just give up, right? Right. Yeah. Right. But I didn't want to give up because I have the willpower. I want to become、uh, inspire. I want to be someone who inspire more people.、Mm -hmm. So I try so many different ways.、Mm -hmm. Spend so much money on yeah. mentoring yeah, ship, yeah. but I finally got it right after eighteen months. That's amazing. Yeah. So, like, what were you like doing in the eighteen months? I, because I, I imagine the reason why you're such a good speaker and coach is because you've made like so many. You found out what didn't work, right? So, do you feel like what were some of the mistakes that people make in, I guess, the coaching industry or maybe e-commerce? Uh, let's do e-commerce then, because I feel like、oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. e-commerce. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah Like sorting, can I say sorting? I know you call it something like niche,、yeah. niching. It just helped me be so clear on、uh, what to what to sell and what not to sell. Because if you just nail that, I think the rest is just so much yeah. easier. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah awesome. And、um, like,、uh, you're a really great speaker to me because you speak Mandarin. Thank you very much. Seriously. So like, were you like? Born a really good speaker, or did you have to like train yourself to be? Because、um, it's, I think it's hard for people of Asian. Can I just say, it? yeah, what, whatever. Not politically correct, but this is what I feel. Okay, like because a lot of Asians, like they're so scared to be on camera. Like, oh my God, Lee, you're the first Asian that I've seen on YouTube to talk about this. Like, do you feel similarly? Like, do you think it's a background or the culture or just personality? I think it's a culture. Of, culture. It, it's not necessarily a gender thing, but、uh, like a Chinese thing. Yeah, I think it's Chinese. If you're rich,、yeah. don't show off. Yes, that's so true. <laughs> If you have、yeah. knowledge, don't tell、mm -hmm. the people because、mm -hmm. people are gonna copy that. Exactly. 
But we're such a nice society. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since we were in America for so long, yeah. we know that. And plus, I have read so many different、uh, books about entrepreneurship, like、mm-hmm. Jack Canfield, Ty Lopez. They all、mm-hmm. taught us: okay, if you want to become successful, if you want to take this to the next level, you、yeah. gotta teach people. Yes,、and、that's where I got the idea from to teach people.、Mm. And in order, in order to do that, you just got, you just have to become、uh, comfortable. In the most uncomfortable situation, yeah. No、true. matter if it's in,、uh, speaking in front of camera or speaking on the stage, yeah. That's what's crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that because you're so dedicated to your Facebook group. And and here's the thing: I think certain entrepreneurs like they do a lot of good job marketing, but they don't do the back end stuff. Like I see you answering all the questions all the time in your Facebook group. If you have any questions, like, and then you go live and then you answer each question. So I really appreciate that being in your group. Um, so okay, let's switch gears a little bit. What do you find? Who do you find funny besides us? If that's even remotely possible, like the third person, like the who's the funniest? Other comedian? Yeah, I like、uh, Amy Schumer and、oh. Ali Wong because that yeah. You know, yeah yeah I like adult jokes. Okay, I love it. <laughs> ah, yeah, we're gonna trade jokes、yeah. after the interview's <laughs> over. So、um, okay, if you ruled the world, what would you do? What would I do? I would like to alter some laws about. E-commerce? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you know Only Ellen is allowed to sell <laughs> about animals. Oh, animals. Adopt、oh, okay. animals. Okay. Let、yeah. me. What would you? What would you change? Well, I would like to change some laws to protect more about the、uh, the dogs, because there are so many people abandon the dogs.、Uh-huh. Yeah.、Okay. So I eat dogs. Ooh, I eat ones too. <laughs> <laughs> That was、I、just for <laughs> experience. I love my dogs.、Yeah. Can you tell us what kind of dogs you have? Mix. Mix. Okay. Yeah, I think、so、they're just... Chihuahua, Pug, and Terrier. Everything. Yeah. Okay. I love that. You know what? I recently just bought a,、uh, I think a DNA test. Oh, for, for my dog. dog.、Oh, yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. Oh, so what are they? I don't know yet. I haven't、oh, received、waiting. the results yet. Well, what, are the, what is it called? Twenty three and.、Bones? I forgot the name of it. <laughs> There are so many comparisons, but I got it because. But、I、how was... did you you get like pluck a hair from your dog or something? No, the saliva sample. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. It was, and、okay. because of that, that inspired me to do my own. Oh, so, did so, you find out what you were? I haven't received. Oh, the, okay, the, so we're in the, the middle of、yet. everything.、Yeah. Um, okay, so what do you think are like the benefits and the pitfalls of the e-commerce business? The benefits and the pitfall for that.、Mm, well, I wouldn't necessarily say it's about e-commerce particular, but would be like、business、any kind of business in general.、Mm-hmm. Uh, the good thing about it is you get to enjoy lifestyle that you design. I、mm-hmm. I love my lifestyle. Get yeah, to do anything I want, anytime I want.、Yeah. And the pitfall about it that is that you have to. Suffer, not really suffering. I think that's very accurate. It's not suffering. I like. It's accurate. <laughs> you have to have that stress every single、okay. day. But once、yeah. you get used to it, it's fine. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So that everyday stress. That's right. Yeah.、Okay. So, what's the funniest thing that's happened to you in the e-commerce business? Because you told me it's okay to ask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I didn't think. Yeah. So that was that. This time when we move. From a smaller warehouse to a bigger warehouse,、mm-hmm. and because we move everything ourselves, because、oh, no. in the previous one, my products and、mm-hmm. laptops got stolen, so、oh, that's、no. why I decided to do it myself. Okay, and that was the most stupid thing I ever done. It was really crazy. I moved everything to a ninety-two hundred warehouse, ninety-two hundred、wow. square feet warehouse.、Wow. So. I just moved the、uh, the rack myself.、Oh、my that was、God. crazy. I will never do that ever again. So I injured myself, and even、oh. uh, I got got a scratch on my legs, on my、serious? on my hands,、oh、and my all、God. that stuff.、It's、yeah,、funny. I wouldn't say it's funny, but I that is kind of funny. Think about、listener. it right now; it's really funny. I'm here to laugh, but okay. <laughs> <Yeah> . <laughs> <laughs> Why would a seven-figure e-commerce e-commerce entrepreneur do that? That's the funny part. Okay, that is funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so,、um, how do you pick your mentors? Because you know, you 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 met Ty Lopez, and I imagine have like other mentors. Like, what's the criteria for you to like pick mentors and pick courses?、Uh, I n- need to make sure they are better than me. So let's say if、yeah. I I have if it's even possible. Yeah, I, mean, I have a seven-figure, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm looking for someone who has made eight figures. Eight figures. Yeah.、Okay. I wouldn't hire someone who's make only six figure to mentor right, me. Yeah.、Sure. Do you feel like personality wise, like do you pick them based on like,、uh, 
other criteria or just like no, as long no. as they're okay. As long as okay, they okay. are better than me. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the success stories of your clients? Uh, one of my, I think my top student now, uh, Reacher, he's in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. He's making, uh, from what I know last time, it was 65,000 USD per month. Wow. But he's making much more right now. And then wow. he didn't tell me the exact number, but right, right. he has like two warehouses in Taiwan. Oh my God. And then he does Amazon USA. He also, also dominates Taiwanese uh, marketplaces Marketplace. as well. Wow. I think he's a millionaire already. Wow. And also I have other two students who made, who already break the seven figure. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. I'm such a shitty student. <laughs> <laughs> you get there. You yeah. get there. Yeah. So, um, what are some of like common problems of e-commerce stores in the beginning? Or like, what are some of the common problems that people have when they first start? Right. Uh, the first one I I think I mentioned earlier is yeah, about picking, yeah, yeah. The, wrong picking the wrong products. Product, yeah. And the second one is, I know you heard this about heard about this all the time. Mm -hmm. It's action. People tend mm -hmm. to overthink, okay, uh, so what should I do first? Should I get a company set up first? Should I, what should I, uh, when should I hire my employee? You haven't even started, why are you thinking about this? <laughs> Stop thinking about yeah, this! Yeah, just start, go ahead and follow through and pick the right product and start selling. I love that, that's great. So, um, what would you say to people whose family and friends think that they're crazy for starting an e-commerce business? Don't like, listen what would to you? them. Okay. Yeah, don't listen okay. to them. Okay, should we just hang up when they call or like... <laughs> <laughs> would they even do Fuck. that? Would they just like calling you, hey, don't do this, you will not succeed. <laughs> but like, they how do you, how do you, like, that, like right? did your, did your, were your, I mean, I, I mean, I know your situation, but like, do you feel like your family and friends are generally supportive when you're No, like, they are not. Oh. They weren't. They weren't actually. They what weren't. did they say and what did you say? Back? It's not going to work. Okay, and then what You're did gonna you waste say? your time. It's not going to work. Focus uh, focus your time on other uh, on the uh, the major business you're in. Because like you were what were yeah. you you were you were doing animation? Like, yeah. So yeah. I was a video game artist. Okay. Yeah. Right. I just ignore them. Okay. <laughs> love, I love it. Ignore our haters. So um if you could start over in e commerce, uh, would you what would you do differently or are you just I would hire a mentor. Oh. Yeah. But so how 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 much did time did you how much time passed before you did de decide to hire a mentor? I first start hiring mentor back in 2016. Okay. But so that's actually yeah. But I already recent. have seven figure in my e-commerce store, oh, wow. so, so I didn't really so have yeah, a mentor for e-commerce. Wow. And back then the mentorship wasn't that popular. Yeah, so was there couldn't even, find one. Yeah, there wasn't. Yeah, even there wasn't mentors out one. there. Yeah. yeah. So um. What are some general advice before I share with you guys how you can immediately buy from her? Because what's wrong with you? Why wouldn't you buy from her immediately? Okay, so yeah. Uh, what, what would be your general advice for people? Um, general overall? advice? Yeah. I would say uh, check out my free course where I teach you about how you could select your products and the newest strategies you could implement it. So that's a two hour free webinar for you to check it out. I'll put the link somewhere. So that's the first thing you should go through. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, where can we visit you online? ellenpro.com slash backslash free training. So that's where you're going to get uh, my free content online webinar from. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for inviting me to sit in your Maserati. It's freaking amazing. It is a beautiful car, guys. It's freaking amazing. Thank you so much, Ellen. I really appreciate your Thank time. you very much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Oh, that was great.